This is a story about how with only two days of work and a bit of internet savvy, we raised over $25,000 for the RSA this Anzac Day. Hi, my name's Jacob from One Day Video, and a couple weeks ago, a guy called Mike Wooten, who is an ex-military and now a digital marketer, emailed us out of the blue on LinkedIn. And I will show you that message. I've had a brainwave of an idea, which will require some pretty swift action. But you guys seem like you might be up for the challenge while helping a ton of people. Would love to run the idea past you and see what you think. So we had a Skype call the next morning, and he gave us the pitch. Because our nation was in level 4 lockdown, meaning everyone had to stay at home in their own little bubble, for the first time in modern history, Anzac Day would basically be cancelled. This means no dawn parade, no gatherings, and no sale of Anzac poppies. The last one was a real problem, as it is through the sale of poppies that the RSA received the bulk of their funds to continue doing the really good work that they do with veterans and frontline personnel. The solution Mike proposed was the Poppy Replacement Project. <laughs> We would create a poppy themed Facebook profile filter that people could get and put on their profiles in exchange for a small donation to the RSA. And of course, we thought the best way to promote this project was through a captivating and engaging video. So we whipped up a very quick script and got to work. Step one, finding a style. So normally when we create animated videos for ourselves and for our clients, they're normally fun and very colorful. Obviously, this is not a style that we wanted to go for Anzac Day, which is quite a sobering event. So we began scouring the internet for inspiration, and these were our three main findings. Number one, black and white. We noticed that all of the film from World War One is obviously in black and white. So we thought, hey, our video color palette should be black and white. Number two, wartime letters. I was really inspired by all these sort of like handwritten wartime letters, so I thought I really want to give the video this kind of hand-drawn feel to it. Number three, Schindler's List. Now this is a more recent movie, but it's totally filmed in black and white, except for one scene, where there's this little girl that you see that has a red dress, and that is the only color in the entire video. So we thought there'd be one color we'd use, and that color was red. So in creating an animated video, it is essential to have a clear storyboard, because it's really hard if you don't. Trust me. Because we are isolated in separate homes, Matthew and I created our storyboard over a software called Mural. Mural is basically a collaborative digital whiteboard space that allows you to draw in real time. So Matthew and I could both have feedback and we'll be talking over Google Meets while I was drawing on my iPad in Mural. Now, it was my job to create all the drawings for the video. To create the jittery lines, I would import an image into a drawing app called Procreate. Then what I'll do is I'll trace over that photo three separate times. And because you can't draw exactly the same each time, there are variations between each drawing. And what happens is when you bring those three drawings into your video software and create a whole lot and put them on repeat, it gives this really awesome jittery line effect. This is a really easy effect to do. Secrets of the trade. So while I was doing all the drawings in my house, Matthew was working on composition and putting it all together in Premiere Pro and After Effects. Get bruh. Now, I don't want to simplify the work that Matthew does as it's probably the majority of the video, so we're probably going to have to make another video to explain how he works. And finally, here is our video. We then handed the video over to Mike and Dave, whose responsibility it was to create the ads for it, create the landing page for it, and to make sure that this message got out. So when all was said and done, we had 2,372 people purchase and use the frame. And that ended in a total of $25,328 raised that we gave entirely to the RSA. So there you have it people, that's how we raised over 25 grand for the RSA. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or a like and subscribe or follow. And if you are in need of a really great animated video, we would love to help. Just give me a message below in the DMs or flick me an email at jacob at onedayvideo.co. I would really love to discuss any ideas you have and we'll go from there. I look forward to hearing from you. Jacob, out.